guys? How are you all? I really wish you people are fine. And my today's lecture, I will let you know about that why sulfate is negatively too charged. And uh, I, I welcome you in GS Academy. So first, if I just really want to uh, make you understand about that why sulfate is negatively too charged, you just need to understand one thing. That is sulfuric acid. I hope uh, you have uh, you have gone through with this compound a lot more times. Students, this compound is something like this, H2SO4. If we just think about sulfuric acid, its central atom is sulfur, contains some oxygen and some hydrogen. So if we just wonder it, sulfur is basically, you can say, contains six electrons. So sulfur is basically present on the on the sixth group of the periodic table or sixteenth group of the periodic table and contains six electrons in the valence shell. So by that idea, I came to know that sulfur has six electrons in the outer shell. So understanding this thing, we can just go for another thing. If we just talk about oxygen, you know, we've got some four oxygen around here. So what I wonder oxygen contains something like six electrons because the group number six contains oxygen at a very first number and after that it contains sulfur so at a very hurry you can just have a look on your periodic table and then you will just find it out the thing where I'm talking to you that oxygen is at the top position while sulfur is at the second position so oxygen contains six electrons as the sulfur do so two electrons are being shared by oxygen with the sulfur. So you can just really uh, depict it in this manner. If we just go for the for the geometry of this, we will like uh, we will write electrons in this way. So th this will some uh, suit it a bit more. So you can just go for dots as well because if you will just draw the same signs, it never depicts the idea of Lewis. Because Lewis says, if you have drawn a cross here, then you have to draw a dot here. That's why I just turned these two, uh, these six things into the dots. So let's just talk about this now. We got some oxygen, another oxygen atom containing some, some six electrons. And you know what? Oxygen contains six electrons. After sharing two electrons, it contains eight. In the same way. Oxygen containing six electrons, after sharing two electrons, it contains eight. So the idea becomes a bit more complex. Now sulfur is basically, you can say that, not following the octet rule here. So what we can have an idea that oxygen comes here, over here as well. But it, it at this time, it shares only a single electron. So oxygen contains as a whole six electrons. As I told you here. So there are six electrons in this way as well. But in order to complete octet for oxygen, it will rely on hydrogen. And now it will go for hydrogen for sharing an electron. So you can just have a look on it that oxygen has again gone for octet. Two, four, something like six and 8 octet. So look at this again. 2, 4, 6, 8 and octet. And look at this hydrogen. It has gone for duplet. It has gone for duplet. Now it's the structural formula of sulfuric acid. What I wonder. So if I just really want to show it in a covalency or something like a covalent bond structure, I will show it like this. Sulfur is doubly bonded with oxygen for two lone pairs, look at this. These are the electrons which are not involved in bonding. So these are lone pairs. And look at this. Again sulfur and oxygen and there are some two more electrons. Uh, a pair of two more electrons. And over here, look at this. Oxygen is singly bonded with uh, sulfur and then singly bonded with hydrogen. And again over here, you can see oxygen is singly bonded with sulfur and again, singly bonded with hydrogen. 
So look at that, H2 as O4. So I just really want to let you know that why sulfate is negatively two charged. So think about it. If we remove these two things, like if I would just really uh, remove hydrogen from here, right, and hydrogen is positively charged and gone because hydrogen hasn't taken this electron. And in the same way, I will remove this hydrogen without taking electron out. So H plus is out. Look at this. So these two protons or these two hydrogen ions has left the sulfuric acid. So you can just sense this that now this compound which is SO4 now contains some two extra electrons on oxygen. So here comes the idea. These extra, these, this electron and these electrons, these are basically extra electrons which are two in number. It's just because oxygen wants to retain its octet. And over here, oxygen wants to retain its octet as well. So that makes the idea clear that sulfate is negatively two charged. What I wonder more that inside the atoms there are some number of protons and they are equal to number of electrons but then the number of protons are not equal to number of electrons then this charge comes out but negative two means two more electrons mean to say this system contain these two guys these two electrons which are greater in number so you can guess that the number of protons are not equal to number of electrons what does it mean it means these two electrons are something which are greater in number so it really depicts the idea that negative two charge means that there are two lesser protons in the system so that's why negative two is greater and that's why i have depicted this idea over here so you can just say that sulfate contain negative two charge so I really wish I really wonder you have got something out of this uh, I think I have depicted the idea for the structure of sulfuric acid and I have described the level best to explain you that why sulfate is negatively two charged so thank you so much for this time and hope you will join me again thank you so much